Infinity Briars here, and in today's YouTube video, we are going to be looking at Infinity's Guide to Fly Mask Making. Now, I don't have an example on me right now because I honestly haven't made a fly mask in like a year, but that's okay. We're gonna go through this together because they are so simple to make and they are so cute. Especially with summer coming up, you want to make sure that you're a are protected from flies. So today our helper is South, AKA South Dakota. This mold is so underrated. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so let's go ahead and go over our materials. So first off, you are going to need a helper bean. Like I said a second ago, this is South. You're gonna need some scissors, a pencil, Velcro. I get this off of Etsy. It's called like in the hoop, but you can use literally any Velcro you want. You're gonna need felt. I don't even know what this is. This is like cross stitch fabric. You can can use cotton fabric for this. I choose to use this because it actually looks really realistic in the end. I get this at Hobby Lobby. When I sold my fly masks, this is what I used because it just looks so realistic. Lastly, you are going to need a pattern, which I'm gonna show y'all how to make this, which is why I have my ruler. Let's go ahead and start out by making this. Let me just grab a piece of notebook paper. I'm gonna just go ahead and fold that in half. So this is kind of what we're going for with the little tabs at the bottom and then it folds over the eyes and everything. The top of this is three and a half inches long and then the bottom is roughly five inches. It's a little shorter but it's basically five inches. If we measure from the top to the side over here, it's roughly two inches tall and then in the middle it does curve in and that is about one one and a half inches. To make this pattern, you wanna fold your notebook paper in half and you wanna work on the seam so that you can have two even edges. If the top of this is going to be three and a half, the middle point is going to be about 1.75 inches. So once you have that marked, you're gonna go ahead and put that on your notebook paper and then just draw a little line. So this mark is going to be where the top part curves down. We know that the bottom was five inches, so if you split that in half, that's two and a half inches, so we're just gonna draw a mark randomly on the notebook paper somewhere below the other one. And then we know that from this point up top to down here is two inches. So we're just gonna draw a little line at two inches. And then when you are over by the seam, this is where the fly mask is gonna curve up, which goes over the nose. That was about one and a half inches. So if we draw a straight line from here to there and then go down to about one and a half inches, this is where the fly mask is going to curve up. Then you just kind of play connect the dots. Essentially something like this, and then you just go ahead and cut that out. And then this is the pattern that you have to work with. And if we put that on South's face, we can see that it is a little bit bigger. So we can spend some time to kind of shape that down by just going in and cutting off this part right here. And then just making that curve down a little bit sooner. So it gets a little bit skinnier. It is really easy to make the pattern for your fly mask. And if you want to style it differently you can make the pattern different there are so many different ways that you can make a fly mask but we're just gonna be going over it the basic way so once you have your pattern you're gonna go ahead and grab your random fabric either the cross stitch fabric cotton fabric it can be whatever you want excuse me south can you hold that down thank you and then you're going to lay your pattern on top of the fabric and then take your pencil and trace around the pattern now you need your scissors and you're just gonna go ahead and cut this out. So once you have the fly mask cut out onto its own little sheet, now we need to draw the lines that go across the fly mask. I didn't really have an exact method to doing this. So currently right now, just draw some lines horizontally and then vertically, and then you'll have the fun little pattern on your fly mask. Once you have your lines drawn horizontally, you do need to draw them vertically because the lines on a fly mask do make little squares. Once you have your nice little grid pattern on your fly mask, you can go ahead and cut this out. So here is what we have to work with so far. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this back on south. It is much easier to work with when you're just using the fabric instead of the paper. So now that we have this on south, we can see that it definitely does need to curve down because look at that, look how far it's sticking off of her head. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut the fabric. So sorry south, you are body quality, so I don't really mind doing this. So I'm gonna cut it right about there on her face and then just go ahead and fold that over and do the same exact thing to the 
the other side by just folding it and then cutting it this now for this next part you can either sew this or glue it but you are going to fold these tabs over and then either glue or sew along this edge I'm gonna sew I like sewing a lot better than gluing so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then you go ahead and cut off the excess so it looks something like this when you unfold it and then you do the same exact thing to this side and once you're done it will look something like this so it does pop out in the middle now which is exactly what you want for a fly mask so excuse me mr. sewing machine we don't need you right now now we're gonna go ahead and bring south back for her job and we're gonna just lay this on her face as you can tell it curves much nicer to her face but now we do have this part that does kind of stick out down here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it closer down here just kind of along where the cheek is fold that in half make another little cut at the bottom on the other side by just comparing the two and then you are going to do exactly what you did for these top pieces down to the bottom pieces down here so that we can have a nice curve on her face and once you're done you should have these two little curve tabs at the bottom this will help keep the fly mask a little bit flusher to your model's face dang look at the difference that made it might be kind of hard to tell on the camera but look at how full lush this is to her face so now that we have the basis of the fly mask done now we need our felt and this part is not exactly exact science all you do is you take felt and you go along the straight edge of your felt and you literally just cut however big you want it to be don't make it too small because now that you have this cut what you do is you grab onto the ends and you stretch it out and this will automatically make the felt skinnier so you don't want the piece to be too skinny and you just stretch it and this gives it a nice realistic look now that you have your felt all stretched out just go ahead and pick which side looks a little bit better than the other side and then I literally just cut off these little tab ends because they're way too thick and they don't match the rest of this so now that we have our lovely little piece of felt we take our hot glue gun go ahead and add some glue to the inside of the felt like so and then you take your fly mask and you literally just wrap it around the edges so once you glue it it looks like this on the outside and then looks like that on the inside and then you're gonna do that for the entire bottom put some glue on the felt follow the edge and then once you have your entire piece glued on make sure that you go ahead and cut off the tabs on the end you can go ahead and sew along the edges this but this piece is not gonna come off like I'm pulling pretty hard and it's not coming off so you don't have to worry about the felt peeling off of this now that we have the bottom we're just gonna go ahead and throw this on south and look at how cute oh my gosh it's so cute I love making these now that we have the bottom piece we're gonna do the exact same thing to this top piece up here do another cut get that nice stretch in the felt cut off the ends pick which side you would like to use add some glue to this and then do the exact same thing that you did to the bottom but this time follow along the top of the fly mask and then once you make it to the other end be sure that you cut off the excess felt and then this is what your fly mask should look like so far we can go ahead and throw that back on south again so you have the two tabs that are gonna come down at the bottom which we're gonna have velcro put on now we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we can secure it behind her ears with your felt that you've stretched you can go ahead and cut it down just a little bit more we don't want this piece behind her ears to be enormous but I do find that if you use the felt that you've already stretched it's not gonna break so you don't have to worry about cutting it too short because look I am pulling pretty hard and it's not breaking so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these ends we're gonna slap some glue on that and then you put it on the inside I tend to go right on the other side of where you either glued or sewed just because it's normally in the right spot we put this on south all we have to do now is fold it over keep a note by just holding it of where this is cut off some of that because we don't want all of it to be glued underneath the mask put some glue on the tab and then just fold that under and glue it down and now you have the strap that goes behind the ears so the fly mask will not slide forward you can sew that in place I'm not going to I've never had issues with just gluing it now we just need to add the velcro to the bottom so that it can close all you're gonna need is your velcro pull up part of it and then go ahead and fold this over so you can get a nice even cut on both pieces and then cut your velcro in half 
So now we have our two pieces of Velcro. We are going to take note of our mask. We might need to cut it down a little bit. I think the size that I did will be fine. So now we're just gonna go ahead and pull that off. I personally really like to have the spiky Velcro facing where it's not gonna be anywhere near the horse. So I put the spiky Velcro on this side. So just add some glue to your Velcro and then glue your spiky Velcro down so that it is on the outside of the mask. So when you put your fly mask on because some velcro is a lot spikier than others with it being on the outside there's no chance that the spiky velcro will scratch your model and then all you have to do for the soft velcro is glue it to the inside of the mask so that the two are able to fold up and meet together you can sew these on I have never had an issue with just gluing them and then all you do is put that on your pony and then they are ready for summertime look at that y'all now y'all can make your own fly masks for your beans. All right, y'all, so that's actually been the end of today's YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. And if you did, please remember to slap that like button as hard as you possibly can show this YouTube video and all of the glorious little fly masks that y'all are gonna be able to make now a little bit of love. Also, if you're feeling exotic, please don't forget to check out my Instagram account, which is at infinity underscore Briar. I post on there daily and I'm super active on there. If y'all use this tutorial to make any fly masks, please tag me in the photos. I would love to see y'all's creations. Y'all are literally so talented. It is so much fun to be able to see what y'all make. And besides, you can get like super creative with these. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on an upload. Don't forget to show South a little bit of love for being our glorious helper bean today because I think this is her first time helping out in a YouTube video and she did a fantastic job. And other than that, y'all, I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Bye! We rise